Alright. Jason, I think you forgot some stuff. What? The pack and play. Alright, hold on. Oh, gosh, this is heavier than the suitcase. You need a stroller, too. All right. There. We need the beach tent. Beach. Don't forget the bouncy chair. What? For Charlie? Yeah. This is going to be taken down. This is not going to fit in the car. Oh, it folds flat. All right. Don't forget the Instant Pot. Oh, I'm not going to bring that over here. We'll just pack that tomorrow. Okay. All right. My wife had a problem with my last video. For you guys that are following me lately, this is Jason. I'm with Green Acres Pest Control. And I've been going over bed bugs, and how not to bring them home on vacation. Cause it's the summer and we're going on vacation. We're going to the beach, okay? I went over in my last video and I'll link it in the cards and, and the end cards in the end of, end of the video. But we are getting ready to go on vacation. And I talked about how you could live out of your suitcase when you go on vacation. It's how you can stop. And all everything I said in the last video was valid. But my wife said, what if you're a family of five like us? It's me and my wife, my infant son, my, who's almost a toddler, my oldest son, who is a teenager, and my six-year-old, okay? Kids are an exception to the rule because it's impossible to pack or unpack. Um, in a way that you can avoid bed bugs. And so this is what I'm gonna go over on this video to try to help you guys understand that you can pack in order to minimize the bed bug exposure with children. Now, my daughter, she's six. Um, she's a perfect example for this. So you pack her luggage. This is her bag right here. This is a small bag. It's got all of her stuff in it. I can treat this bag with Crossfire so that nothing can get in this bag when we take it to the hotel. We don't have bed bugs here, so we're not gonna take them with us. And so this is, this is a safe spot for her clothes. She can live out of this suitcase, this is fine. But tell a six-year-old to go in and get her nightgown for bedtime. She's gonna pull every single thing out of this suitcase and she's gonna feel like that all over the place. And this is gonna be closed all over the floor. She's gonna get her nightgown, she's gonna get dressed, she's gonna brush her teeth, she's gonna go to bed. Clothes are gonna be all over the place. Clothes will pick up bed bug eggs. Um, the eggs are very sticky. They'll be in the carpet fibers, they'll be under the beds, they'll be on the beds. Um, if the bed has bed bugs, you know, the, or if the room has bed bugs, you will pick them up on your clothes. You can't control a six year old. She's going to she's gonna behave that way. That's just the way she is. My son is not so bad, but he's 14. You know, he's older. She's six. She thinks that that's the only way she can find something is by throwing it all over the place. So how do you limit exposure to bed bugs with children? Okay, one, treat your suitcase. So, you know, but two, now th this is something that's really, really, really important. And this goes back to one of my first videos I did on a series. And I'll link that in the description too. But 
Prevention, prevention, prevention. If you have already treated your house before, and this, you don't have to hire an exterminator. You can do it yourself. You watch my videos and stuff. You can do this yourself. It's not something that's impossible for the do-it-yourselfer. But you can treat your house. So when your daughter or your son decides to throw their clothing everywhere and possibly pick up bed bug eggs and put them back in the suitcase, when they get home and they unpack their clothes or they sit the suitcase in the corner of their room and the bed bugs crawl out of the suitcase to try to get to them while they're asleep at night, your house has been treated. So you don't have to worry about the bed bugs getting in and biting you or coming out of your suitcase and infesting behind your baseboards and places that they like to live because those areas have already been treated with a pesticide. And so you're not, you're going to limit your exposure greatly by doing that. That's the main, the, the most, I cannot stress enough, which is why it was the very first video I did. You've got to practice prevention. It, it's very, very important. And this is for people, I mean, the problem is, I, I wanna leave this note right here because it's towards the beginning of the video, but I want you to share this video with your friends. I want you to post this video on social media. I want you to put it out there where everybody can see it because a lot of people don't watch my videos. They don't understand it. And they're gonna go on vacation and they're gonna pick up bed bugs and it's, it's a horrifying thing. It causes PTSD, a lot of people claim, you know, because it scares them thinking that they're going to bring bed bugs home or thinking that they already have and they've got them in their house. And nobody realizes that this is a real valid threat. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on a hotel. It doesn't matter how little money you spend on a hotel. You can get bed bugs from anywhere. You can get bed bugs from friends and family too. So it's, it's really important to share this video and get the word out that it is possible to prevent this kind of problem. And hopefully together, we can work on eliminating this problem for good and get it back to the way it was when I was a kid where you, it was like, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, what are bed bugs? Oh, it must be like the boogeyman because no one knew what bed bugs were. So anyway, that's one thing you can do, suitcases. You can also, like I said, treat your rooms and stuff like that. That's really the best option I've got with children because you but cannot, also you cannot change what a child does. So, what were you going to ask me? I was going to say, when you come home, leave Unpack. your leave your you can suitcases. Leave your, you in can the leave your car. suitcases in the car. You can leave your suitcases in the garage. You can leave them separate away. But still, the fact is, is bed bugs can live for eighteen months without a blood meal. That's not really going to help because people don't want to go eighteen months without their clothes. Um, but if they but leave anyway. But if you leave it in the garage or in the car outside of the house until you're ready to go take it and put it directly into the wash machine, you're still limiting. Well, yeah, the I mean, if you're going to take your clothing and stuff and wash it, but I do know a lady who who did that, and she took her clothes from her bags and she put them in her laundry machine, and her bags were empty when I went to her house in her garage to check her bags that were in her garage and still had a bed bug in the bag. So even though the clothes, yeah, the clothes were taken care of, the clothes were eliminated, that does not stop the fact that you will have bed bugs in your bags as well. So depending on where you store your bags or how you store your bags, still number one way is prevention. You still should right. treat your home for bed bugs because the bed bugs are gonna crawl out of the bag eventually when they get hungry. And they do this hibernative state. So if they don't sense a person is nearby, they don't smell the CO2 you give off, they're not actually attracted to you, then they will go into like a dormant state. And that's when they can go for a very long time without feeding at all. And so just because you put your bags in like an attic or a garage or a closet that isn't, you know, isn't really accessed very often, uh, doesn't mean the bed bugs won't be there the next time you go on vacation. Um, so anyway, like I was going to say, this is now this is just a stroller. Typically, I leave the stroller in the car. I usually don't take that in and put it in the hotel room. Sometimes, if the baby's asleep, because this does have the ability to put a bucket in, I will take the stroller into a hotel room. One of the things that I haven't gone over is you really need to do a really thorough inspection of your beds. Now, stay tuned because when I get to our hotel at the beach. I'm actually gonna go through and film doing an inspection, showing people what I do. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel because uh, like uh, 
follow the channel and everything because I am gonna do a video on how to actually inspect a room fresh when you first enter as soon as I get to, uh, to where we're staying. But one thing is you wanna make sure you do a good inspection because if you know there aren't bed bugs in the room or at least very mild infestation, a lot of times you're not gonna take them home with you anyway, even if, it's, if, it, even if the room does have bed bugs but it's very mild, it lessens the, the likeliness that you're actually gonna bring them home too. But um, a lot of times the strollers, there's not really anything you can do with a stroller. I and mean, I guess you could treat the wheels or whatever because as long as it's set up right and it's not folded. But um, one thing I was gonna go over, which I had a, a thing I wanted to show you, but the pack and play. Now I'm not gonna pull out the pack and play, but pack and plays are really difficult. A lot of pack and plays have been designed now, they're almost like a kindergarten mat where the mat has a sheet and it lays on the floor inside the pack and play. Um, I know when my daughter was young, we used the same pack and play for her. She, when we would go on vacation, she would nap in it. Uh, we went on a cruise and we put her in it so she could nap during the day. She was 18 months and she would lay right there on the mat, on the floor, just like they do at kindergarten. Um, that's gonna be very difficult. You can treat the mat but the problem is the mat is going to be covered in a sheet. So it's, yeah, the bed bugs will crawl on the mat too, but they can also crawl on the sheets laying in the floor. That's really difficult. You can wrap the legs of a pack and play. You can put uh, double-sided tape. Now, not glue boards. You want to use double-sided tape that actually sticks and adheres to the bed, and you wrap it around the leg. Be careful because you don't want to tear up the paint on your packet plate. You know, this is just, you know, take it with a like grain the of salt. the feet where the baby can't grab but it. But it's the feet where the, yeah, exactly. It's the feet where the baby can't grab it. And if the bed bugs were to crawl up on the bed to try to get to the baby, then they would crawl over that sticky tape. They would get stuck and you could see them. Now, this is not to stop bed bugs because it absolutely will not stop bed bugs but it will give you something to monitor and you can see if there's actually an infestation because when the baby's asleep right there, um, the bed bugs are gonna try to get to the baby and they'll try to crawl up the legs of the bed and when they do, they'll get stuck in the sticky pads and you can see, oh, I do have bed bugs in this room. I need to show this to management. I need to get a different room. So that is one thing you can use to your advantage. Um, as far as, yeah, I really think that's everything unless there was something else we could do without the jumpy seat in order to limit yeah, your exposure. Yeah, I mean, limit your exposure. Uh, yeah, this is a bouncy chair. Now, my son is, is eight, he's almost nine months old. So he's really active. He likes to stand. He gets in the little walkers and stuff, and he bounces around and stuff. He really likes it. He keeps him busy, and he loves to play with the toys, and it exercises his legs. It's good for him. Um, he can go for five, six days without it. You know, it's not something I have to bring. Uh, uh, we have a swing that he will swing in sometimes when he gets irritated so he can play with toys and swing and he likes it. Um, I don't have to bring that. You know, that's not something I have to bring on vacation. Um, try to limit the things you pack. So pack light. You know, uh, a lot of times we go in my Kia. And I have a Kia Soul. And with three kids and two adults, I'm pretty packed in there. But we go on vacation a lot in that little car. It forces us to pack light, pack small, um, don't pack so light that you have to use a laundromat because you don't want to use a laundromat. That's, that's, and I, I, you know, I ought to do a video on laundromats. I'll do a video on laundromats too here in the next coming weeks, uh, explaining why you don't want to go to a laundromat and why it's better to use a more, um, localized laundry, laundry service or, or, uh, using your, getting a laundry machine, you know, an actual washer and dryer if you live in an apartment where you can't have a washer and dryer. But like I said, I'll go over that in, a, in another video. Um, so you want to try to limit your exposure. Bed bugs will live in laundromats. Uh, cockroaches will live on laundromats. In fact, when we were first living together, my wife and I, when we were married, we used to go to the laundromat to wash our clothes. We didn't have a washer and dryer. And when I opened the dryer to put our clothes in, cockroach crawled out from around the rim of the dryer. So. You know, you want to limit your exposure when you're going on vacation. You don't know who's using the washing machines and the dryers. So that's one way you can limit your exposure to, to bed bugs. These videos that I do, 
make me sound like a hypochondriac. But I want to explain. Bed bug treatments are thousands of dollars. A lot of times, even your middle class can't afford a bed bug treatment. So I'm trying to help by doing these videos to limit the exposure to bed bugs. It's not to try to scare you. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to give you knowledge so that you can be empowered. I'm trying to empower you to take control of the situation. So hopefully this video has been successful in teaching you about how to properly pack for vacation. Uh, like I said, this is, I guess this is a part two because my wife pointed out, well, you know, Jason, we don't just live out of a suitcase when we go traveling. What do you do if you have a family? So hopefully this has helped. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave a question in the comments below. I read all of my comments. I try to reply to every comment. I try to at least leave a thumbs up or something if I don't have time to actually reply, but I, I will reply. If you ask me a question, I will, I will eventually get back to you. Uh, I also have a Twitter, at GreenAcresPC. You can send me any kind of pictures you'd like me to identify. I'm on Facebook. I'm all over the place. Look me up. I'll leave my social media links in the description below. And uh, also, if you're interested in purchasing anything that I use personally, I don't sell it. I use Amazon, but you can go on to Amazon. Uh, I'll link that in the description below as well for my store where it's got all my information on everything that I've ever used and had success with. I don't post anything that I haven't used. I haven't had success with it. So hopefully this video has helped. Like, share, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.